so here this is going to be a demo on how to make a plastic bag into a uh, rope. So you're going to start off with a fresh plastic bag uh, and then just going to open it up. Uh, so the first thing that you're going to do is tuck the handles together, take one corner and kind of fold it inside out so that the corners touch on the inside. So like corner to corner, so the bag is half the normal width and it kind of makes like a, a bowl or a cup shape like this. Um, and then once you do this, you'll have these two big flaps that sit up. So you're gonna take the flaps and fold those inside too and tuck the corner in at the bottom. And what you should end up with is something that looks kind of like this, where it's just a, a single strip from the bottom of the bag to the two handles. Just kind of tuck that so it's all nice. So uh, you're going to take a drywall screw or anything that's like a little rod or a stick made out of metal and put it into the bottom end of the bag and then kind of scrunch it so that it only takes up a little bit of the screw. Then you're going to put that into a clamp on the bottom end of the ironing board so that it stays. And then come up to the handle end, take a drill bit or anything else um, and put it through an eyelet on your drill. So tuck that through and that makes kind of like a little quick release and it holds the bag even under really high tension. So to start off with you're going to pull a little bit of tension on it and start spinning it um, and it's important to kind of work the bottom of the bag too just so that you don't get too many twists in one spot up at the top. There's a tendency to do that. And then once you've got it pretty well twisted up, you're probably going to end up with a bubble. Just have scissors or another blade ready and uh, pop it. And then keep twisting. And the thing to watch for is right about a third of the way down where you know this is the handle and this is the bag. Well, if you get down to right where the handle ends, when this starts getting tight and narrow, then that's about when to stop twisting. So then take your iron, which is on, and set on this one to about three, about as hot as the dry settings go. Um, and then start heating the bag. Um, you want to heat the bag section more than the handle section. Basically ignore the narrow part where the handles are for now, and just focus on the bottom, because the thick part is the thing where you're going to need the most work. Um, and then as you heat it, you're going to pull a little bit of tension, and then heat it, and pull a little bit of tension. And then once you feel like it's bottoming out, and you're kind of, you know, pulling as far as you can before it starts getting really hard, then you're going to want to twist it a little bit more. Oh, and I lost the eyelet. Okay.